guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today and welcome to the most daunting place in Planet Zoo ever. A wide open blank map of nothingness. But most importantly, welcome to the start of our brand new franchise zoo, Winfield Zoo. So a lot of you guys have been asking for this for quite a while and I have been working on it, I promise, but it's just taking me a little bit longer than I had wanted it to because, you know, life. But anyway, in today's episode, we're going to get the main area kind of skeletoned out, kind of set up. Um, I have been going back and forth in my head about what I actually want to do. So as I kind of talk about that, let's just kind of grab some stuff and get going with it. So of course we're in franchise, so I do actually have to connect a path from here straight on out so that the guests can actually get somewhere. But I kind of want to get away from the entrance, or sorry, away from the border a little ways. And that way we have some room to play with. So I'm gonna come out here and then I'm actually gonna delete some of this because I wanna try to make like a little a little curve uh, off of here. So let's go on this side and this side. And then from here, I kinda want not quite that much. If we just do a very slight degree, like so, and then again, like so, and then like so. That was three, this is four. So we'll do four on the other side as well. Cause I kind of want, Tolly Zoo's entrance was very square. I want this to be not square. I want it to be curved, <laughs> just like this. So that is perfect. Whoops, that is not. Uh, this zoo is going to be set or is set as you might have been able to tell. This is a taiga biome. So we have the taiga biome going on, uh, very cold, which is what we're gonna have to pay attention to. Whereas Tali Zoo was a tropical zoo, this one is going to be a very cold zoo. So, you know, I've actually thought about the entrance a lot. Um, let me give, let's try and paint. Train paint will be good because then I can kind of show you guys what I am uh, talking about. So I kind of want our entrance to be this square kind of plaza here with a round entrance. I know I just said Tully Zoo was square and I don't want this one to be, but it starts off with a square, but the entrance is round is what I meant. <laughs> uh, we'll start off with that. Let me actually go ahead and put a person down because I don't actually know how big I'm making this awful at scaling, especially when we have uh, when we have nothing to compare it to. So we'll get that little caretaker down there. See, this is a this is a massive place already. I think, uh, actually, you know what, that, that might be okay. But thinking we're gonna do a building here and then a building here with kind of the entrance in the middle. This will be like a little plaza with some buildings that kind of go around. So maybe that will be like a gift shop. Um, but I basically want the entrance to be here and then you kind of walk across the plaza and the uh, zoo kind of starts over here. So what if we take a path, I'm thinking, because we do want this to be obviously usable. Um, and I learned my lesson in Tali Zoo. We're gonna make everything bigger than we think it might be in terms of, of path width. So let's start with this and let's go off to this side right here that way. And then again over here like that this way. And then can we kind of, yeah, we can. Okay, connect these up and then we can go from the center-ish here. Connect please, yes, perfect. And then I want a grid. So then we can make this part right here, the little entrance plaza area like this. Perfect, so that will kind of be our area. Our buildings will kind of go around that. And then off the grid, we want to exit somewhere right here. So we'll go off into one direction or another. No idea where this is going from here. And hey, heck, we could just delete it all if we hate it. If you guys get down in those comments and start dragging me through the mud because this is an ugly entrance. I mean, right now it's just paths, so please don't be too harsh, but you know, you get the point. <laughs> I don't think that there will be a time lapse in this one uh, just yet because I wanna set up our beginning facilities and get our first animal, which is actually something that I thought about for quite a while. And I'm thinking, um, 
Let's see, what do I wanna get first? So we need, no, let's think, let's think guests first. Uh, but going back to animals, so, um, caribou, I think, is really honestly what I want the first, uh, the first thing to be. I'm gonna grab these information things here to kind of do our makeshift uh, ticket booth right off the side here. So let's put this down like so I think is good. If we kind of get this to come as close as possible. Um, actually, do I want it out here? I probably want it here because then, yeah, because then they buy their ticket and then go through the ticket booth over there, I'm thinking. So here and another one on the other side to make it symmetrical there. Wow, that turned out actually pretty good. Good job, Savannah. What a good job. Sometimes you get things right. So anyway, I'm thinking caribou. So there's our information there. Let's go ahead and put our, um, our keeper stuff off to the side over here. It's gonna be ugly. This is a first episode, so just warning you now. Uh, I did put this one on hard mode as well. That's what we played Tali Zoo as the entire time. So we do have to be uh, we do have to be smart with this. So let's see, we want a uh, keeper's hut, a staff room. I think I'm gonna hold off on the vet surgery for now, but we do want a uh, mechanic there as well as a small quarantine, small quarantine right there. It's been so long since we started Tully Zoo. I'm actually kind of forgetting uh, what the heck we even need. <laughs> so if I forget anything, do let me know. Um, that is not what I want. I want you to be a little smaller, please. And then will you please prettily, prettily, prettily? What is that word? Attractively? There we go. Attractively connect. There we go. I got the word right and it listened. <laughs> Look at that. And then we will click that straight out through here. That is not pretty. Goodness gracious, that's atrocious. Um, please stop connecting to that. We need you to be one more bigger, like so. We'll come across here. But yeah, I just figured that with it being a taiga zoo, something kind of cold and wintry like caribou or reindeer, I know they're called in the game, uh, would be what we wanted. I'm gonna go with this staff path for this one here. Um, so we'll have to keep in mind things like snow and stuff like that. I really did not want to make, um, I didn't want to make it a tundra zoo because I just didn't want to deal with snow 100% of the time. But just like in Tali Zoo where we kind of dealt with rain a lot of the time, this one we're going to deal with snow a lot of the time. Um, so for our very first habitat, I do kind of want it just to be... Uh, a very kind of walk in plain and simple kind of reindeer habitat. So I'm thinking we do a very classic uh, sunk in the ground, um, sunk in the ground kind of enclosure. So let's make this bigger here and get this down to four meters of height, maybe a little less than that. And we'll kind of go along this way here because I'm going to bring up um, bring, bring it up so that it's kind of sloped. So it gets down to there at that point. And then if we do this and kind of bring it up so that it is a plus, please. Whoa, not that high. That is a floating island of stuff. Maybe a little bit less sloped than that. We want it to be real gradual, real, real gradual. Um, like that. There we go. That's not too bad. I guess I could have started with that in the first place, but you know, that's okay. We're getting there. Yeah. Perfect. Cause I do want it to be a little bit rockier in this habitat specifically because they're reindeer and they're going to live in the, the tundra or the taiga, right? So this is kind of the area that they would live in. Maybe a little bit of hills back here. And we're not going to have much, which actually that reminds me before we actually get too crazy on the building, I feel like I should, hmm, let's see. I'm afraid to unpause it because <laughs> I don't want things to start happening before we're ready for them. But let's actually see, 
Let's do barrier here because if we get an animal in, then we can start accruing money. And that's gonna be the important part uh, for us, obviously, is because we want to start accruing money as soon as possible. So I'm gonna put this right here and then we'll do null barrier because we're going to, um, we're gonna try to make our barrier ourselves. It's a lot more difficult starting this. I uh, I feel like in Tully Zoo, I might have jumped to a time lapse almost right away. Uh, and I'm clearly not in this one. So doing it real time is actually a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, uh, despite the fact that I had kind of planned this out in my head for a few weeks uh, before we're starting it now. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of only thought about the entrance, so I never really gave much thought to, uh, to this actual habitat here. But I wanna do kind of a fairly simple, um, fairly simple like rock background with maybe some chain link on top. Um, let's see, let's do how, how big is this one? Let's make sure that it is because we do have to pay attention to the fact, okay, this is 1700 square meters and I'm pretty sure the reindeer, reindeer are gonna be okay with that. Uh, oh yeah, this is gonna be plenty, especially when we um, we decorate it all in and everything, right? So let's actually get, oh, you know what? Did I not put down, I didn't. I didn't put down a trade center. Uh, that's not where I need to go. I need to go find a trade center like that. That's a research center, Savannah. Trade center is this one. And I'm just gonna lump it in here with this so that it's there. And I guess, actually, oh no, did I make the mistake I didn't want to? I think I did. Because if we go to the heat map and we look at power, <gasps> that's what I wanted to avoid. Oh well, I guess we can't avoid it now. I was gonna try to build everything within this like first little perimeter here uh, because it really helps you save money in the beginning but I didn't do that. Um, you know what? Let's just take this whole thing, select the group here and bring it down over here. I know they will be a little bit further away. Pardon my dogs. I'm sure that you can hear them. They are going absolutely nuts. Let me go ahead and stop them because they're losing their mind over something. Okay, goodness gracious, they were barking at the uh, delivery guy <laughs> that was delivering some Amazon packages. Poor little guy, just trying to deliver the packages and my dogs were being ferocious guard dogs barking at him. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna move all this in the front here and that way, oh, come on, you can connect. You connect it over there. Look at this, connection right here, you can do it. There we go. Um, and that way we take advantage of that and not have to spend so much money. So we'll kind of just put everything up here for now and including, you know what, what we can actually do is uh, we'll move these forward for permanent. We'll move them here in front and that way, yeah, that way they can be in the blue and let me move this one. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted just to select just you and move you forward one and you forward one. That way you're connected by the path. And then hopefully you all should be powered. Hello? Yeah, okay, great, all powered, ooh. I'm forgetting everything that we did in the first one, huh? You know what? You know what? Screw it. Nope, we're going back. We are going to go back. Everything was beautiful. It's how I want it to be. Whoops, put that back. Uh, and we're gonna just power it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't wanna change it. We're gonna do it this way. And if we fail, we fail. <gasps> Did I totally forget slash not know? Does our research carry over? This is fantastic news. Why did nobody tell me this? <laughs> Why did I not search it myself? This is fantastic. Okay, well, let's do, let's not do that. Let's do, no, and not that either. This is a transformer that we want. Let's do this. Cool, we can go ahead and put this like right in here, hopefully. Will it fit? Aha, look at how beautiful that is. 
Everything is powered. Everything is beautiful. And it's connected by a path. Yes, it is. Alrighty. So we need some people. Some people. We need a mechanic. We got a caretaker already. We need a keeper. Right? I put down a caretaker. Where'd he go? Yeah. We got a keeper. We got a... We got vendors already. We don't have a vet yet. Um, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And let's actually get our animals and connect this up with a path. I just want to get some animals in on our first episode. That's really all I care about right now. Is I really want them... Really want them to be in the park. So, we want reindeer. Rain. That's not how you spell rain. Okay, great. Perfect. Uh, you know what? Tolly Zoo, I, or I'm sorry, uh, Windfill Zoo, I don't think we're going to worry about getting low statistics. I think we're just going to get whoever we see that we like. I didn't think about that yet. Uh, let's go to Zoopedia and see how many we can actually have. So one male and up to 11 females. So we only want one male. Let's grab this. No, let's grab... Oh, you're a female? You're not very expensive. Okay, check everything. Six years old. So kind of on the older side. Uh, you are not that old. Uh, what zoo are you from? Uh, Billy's Haven Frontier Zoo. So you're going to be safe. You're Look at me. I've learned. I'm double checking things. Billy's Haven. Okay. So th these two are from the same, but they're both male. So it's okay. Um, you know, we got the conservation credits. Let's do it. So we got you. That was a male. Now we just need a female. Let's see. There's not a page two. Okay. So we have this female here is from Frontier Zoo. She is 6.7 years old. And what did we say? Uh, we said, uh, oh, five years of maturity. Oh, no, that's when they, when there's sterility. Oh, death. Okay. So we don't really necessarily have to worry. So you know what? I think I will. Oh, hello. One conservation credit. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> did I make a mistake? Ah, uh, did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, wow. I've got all these animals in my... I got it! Wow! Okay, so, uh, sorry, uh, you, whoever you are. You're going back, uh, back for trade. Trade for... Um, well, we got him for 2000 so how about... 2000 and something. So, okay, back for trade. You go. Uh, that's kind of nice. Look, we got a gold one. We weren't allowed to get these in Tali Zoo, so I'm very excited. Okay, animal market, reindeer. We need a female now. Female. Female, female, female. This one I think I will take because it's only 30. And then maybe I really don't want to buy the animals. So, you know what? I think I might say it's okay for now because, uh, oh, but see, they want three. Are they going to be really that unhappy? Let's do this. Let's go down to, I completely forgot that like animals and research transfer over to a new zoo. Like, look at all these guys we got. We got, we got a lot of animals. So let's send these guys to the zoo. Send to the zoo, please. Hello. Thank you. Go to quarantine. Why is there no path destination? There should be. Hello? Do we have to put you right? Okay, I guess you can go right in the habitat. Is that not connected? It should be. It, yeah, it totally is connected. Oh, well. We'll put them in there. Oh, I did not build an actual barrier. That is not a good thing. Uh, let's go to nature. Let's go to our rocks. Bring our rocks out because this is what I want a lot of the habitat to be made out of. So let's just make a really quick, quick and easy kind of rock wall out of these. Like so. This will just be a really, really simple back wall kind of thing. So we'll do that. We'll sink some of these in so that we have a little bit of variation. 
and it's not incredibly uh, tiled because we don't want all those textures to be super repeating. That doesn't look too bad. And then what would it look like? What would it look like if we went to fences and we got our chain link up here? Maybe the bigger one might be better. And we kind of did this kind of thing because I want it to look like, I want it to look like kind of like I don't know, kind of like we don't have a ton of money, right? So maybe like that and then over and duplicate these so that they go together. Uh, yes, okay, great. And then maybe, maybe we should put these all in the same group, uh, group like that. And then we can group you guys together. Let's do this. Let's move you guys into the center here. And then we can kind of uh, overlap the rocks as we go. But how would it look? Can I get this to have like a bottom border? No, we're not going to because the, the rocks are so undulated. But that's okay. Uh, that is okay. Let's go to our rocks now. I want them to be a grayish color. How's that one? Way too dark. Way too dark. Um, that is not realistic at all. Okay. Um like this does that look okay let's go to the where the sun is hitting that looks okay i like that so then if we make these both into the same group i guess i could have just done that in the beginning and we kind of duplicate this out so that we have a wall that is starting this will be the back border back barrier of the habitat and I think we'll be able to make this uh, a little bit shorter like that so we'll do that let's duplicate this a bunch of times make sure that we get them all secured in so we have no escapes because I have to remember it's been a while since I played franchise mode so we have to remember that we are making the animals happy and that it does make the guests unhappy if we uh, if we let them escape. So I'm gonna take these and actually spin these a little bit more. That way, it's not such a huge section um, that is that's going straight. So let's do this. Um, but yeah, while we're doing this, do let me know any comments or suggestion and feedback is always super appreciated. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I, I kind of want to break this up with um, another little very simple fence. Um, do I have blueprints? Where are my blueprints? Uh, my Africa pack. Do I have? No, not something like that in here. No, not something like that. Uh, maybe something that I don't have yeah I don't have what I'm looking for okay whatever I'll make it um, but anyway any comments or suggestions feedback is always appreciated and I really do look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this zoo in particular um, because I know a lot of people were wondering where a franchise zoo was if it was coming back yada 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 um, and and like I said I wanted to get this episode out uh, two weeks ago actually um, and I'm just now basically when you're seeing this uh, let me think. I recorded it a week ago. Uh, yeah, a week ago, basically. Um, and I held on to it so that it could be uh, released on a Friday. I'm actually currently, while you're watching this, on a plane on my way to Boston uh, for Christmas. My family lives back in Boston, Massachusetts. So we are going to stay at their house for a week, enjoy Christmas with them. I'm very, very excited because I have not been uh, back east in four years, I think it's been. It's been a really long time. Um, so I'm really, really excited to, to be back visiting my family. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had some videos for you guys to watch while I was on vacation. So that is why um, this was pre-recorded and I kind of held on to it in order to release it uh, at this time. Uh, so that's, that's my story that I wanted to tell you guys <laughs> as we create this very simple fence. It's kind of amazing how long things, uh, kind of take, but let's create this because I just want it to look a little bit, uh, different 
for each, uh, for the back of the habitat. I didn't want it to look super, super samey, right? I wanted it to look, uh, look a little bit varied as far as textures and style of the back of the habitat and stuff like that. So we'll do that. That'll be kind of continuing off in that direction, which I think is good. Uh, maybe we do all the way straight this way and grab all these. Not you two, because you two are um, curved. But bring this out like so. And that way we can get to go in on this. Bring it out and we'll do like a little, do like a little S. We'll curve it this way here. Um, so hopefully you guys do like more of a management for our first episode. And then I do want to get back into the habit of time lapses. Um, and that way we can like really get stuff done. I really don't want to try to leave a uh, project as unfinished as we did in Tolly Zoo. We kind of got things to like... 80%, 70% done and was like, okay, next thing we will, uh, we'll finish that later. And then later came and it was never finished. So that is kind of what I don't want to have happen, um, for Winfell. So we'll try really hard to, um, really hard to make that not happen. Um, I wonder if this would look okay, sinking it down a bit. I think so. I think so. So yeah, that'll kind of be the back part of the habitat. Back part of the habitat looks good. Um, I might, for the time being, let's go ahead and edit the barrier and just kind of make this right here, um, this fence. Oh, can we not? Oh, it's too close to the path, isn't it? Well, gosh dang it. That's not what I want. Let's take this whole front part here and if we slide it away from the barrier, hopefully we can. Yes, okay, great. And then let's make it smaller. Um, I'll double check to make sure that they can't escape that. But we can do all of this, this here, and we will change this because I do not want this uh, to be the actual fence in our habitat. But I just want to make sure that they can't escape for now. Um, but you can see how much, oops, how much smaller we actually made this, this habitat, which is good, I think. I didn't want it to be that, quite that big. So what if we bring in the corners here and just kind of uh, make it more kind of realistic to where it is. That way the habitat's not all the way out there. And then we will unpause it, hold our breath and make sure everything goes according to plan and that there are no major issues. So let's grab this and bring that in there. We can actually bring this one back to about there. Perfect. Now we have a very simple looking reindeer habitat. Um, I'm gonna hit play, have them bring in the animals in here and we need to get them food and we need to get them water and they probably need hard shelter too. Arrived at the zoo, woohoo, yay. This is gonna be slightly longer of an episode, I feel. Um, I want, no, guest facilities, all guest facilities because the all important donation bin. Dun da da da. <laughs> Perfect, there and there. We'll put those there and then let's make sure in this zoo are these ones going to be bugged. I severely hope not. Sincerely hope not? Severely hope not. You guys know what I mean. Reindeer, yes. And reindeer, yes. Perfect. Now, moment of truth. Let's get out of this menu. Heat map, please. Education. That is guest education coverage. Why? Why do you not work? I do not understand. All right, well, 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 let's just get rid of those and we'll have to do it our own way. So for now, I think, let's just go ahead and throw, um, I don't think I've seen these yet. The memorial plaques, how cool. Um, let's grab this little TV screen right here. No, let's grab this one and let's align it to the surface and we'll just go ahead and throw it on the barrier here and on the barrier here. We will, I promise you guys, this will all be much prettier 
much, much prettier. Um, we need wide uh, reindeer. Wide reindeer sign, not actual wide reindeer. Let's get all the way down. Uh, wait, did I pass it? I did, right there, great. Okay, perfect, like that. And then you know what? There was pointless placing a second one because I'm just gonna do this and bring it all the way down here. Great, now, does that count? Hello? as guest coverage. Wait, what? Why does that not count as guest coverage? Guest education coverage. Yeah. Is it because they're not over there yet? Did I use the wrong one? I think I used the wrong one, didn't I? Hold on. After all that, I did. You know what? <laughs> I did use the wrong one. I was thinking in my head like, I don't remember having to scroll to get the uh, to get the the education board like lit up and whatnot. Normally, it just offers you like a menu. And that's because I had the wrong one. Okay, take three. Here, here is our education boards lit up blue as they should be. There we go. Okay, let's do habitat and go to reindeer. Uh, species, rain, deer. You guys told me a million times I can search for it, but I like doing it this way, so I'm gonna keep doing me. Perfect, there's reindeer. We want to give them a scratching post. I think that is a good idea, so we'll give them that one. Let's give them a large barrel feeder that's gonna roll down towards the guest. How about a watermelon? Because everybody likes watermelon. Um, and then maybe this little, that's food, that's food. So maybe another little toy is a good idea. How about a snowball? You can have snowball. And a shelter, just a temporary shelter. Something like this. It's gonna be really temporary again, guys, promise. Promise, promise, but I just want to make sure that they have all of their needs met. So let's hit play. That's habitat. Uh, temperature is the wrong thing. So why? Oh, it just went up. What is your temperature wants? Um, negative 12 to 16 degrees and it's 24. So we're going to need coolers for them. So we'll do coolers and we'll set it to negative 15 is what we want. Habitat and coolers. I don't feel like we had to use these almost at all last game. So this will be interesting. So we'll do that and we'll set you to negative, negative 15. There we go. Hit play. That should start to cool. Beautiful. So now you should be nice and happy. Yeah. Per oh, we didn't do food. Food, food, food. Important. Important, important. So we'll go ahead and put that down there. And water before I forget. Food and water. There we go. Beautiful. You guys, look at this. Look at this beautiful habitat. <laughs> this absolutely gorgeously plain habitat. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Should we add a few more trees? I think trees make everything better. Clearly everything better. So let's go here and let's let's stop for for first things first, making the time go by so incredibly fast cuz that is not what we want. But let's get some let's get some trees in here. Um if not in there in the background for them. What do we have to work with? A festive tree? No, we're not going to do that to them. These are going to be uh, real habitat, um, uh, like real live zoos. We're not going to put Christmas trees in there. Let's put this here like that. Beautiful. Um, I'm, I think I'm really going to like uh, styling in, uh, not styling, um, building in a taiga biome because I really enjoy um, Pine Mountain Sanctuary and Pine Mountain Sanctuary is less kind of like snowy and whatnot but still kind of a taiga setting still kind of the same same foliage and stuff that we're using throughout that zoo so I think I'm really going to enjoy 
enjoy this. Let's do another little one right there and then maybe some ground coverage around the place. And that will be it for today. Let's do these little bushes because they're cool and I like them. Here and here and around the base of the trees, even though they really don't grow like this because the trees take up a lot of nutrients, but that's okay. We will pretend. Oh, that one has little flowers on it. Cool. What about this one? Oh, no, I don't want to heart it. There we go. That and that. And then we'll put maybe a little one by their food, like so. All right. Very cool. Very, very cool. And their habitat there. Um, oh, they want more soil. Okay, well, we can do that. Soil it up. <laughs> I just thought about what I said. Uh, oh, no, too much soil. I'm reading that wrong. They want uh, short grass. Okay, grass it up. There we go. That sounds a little less weird. Grass, 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 grass. And then a little bit of long grass they do like. So we'll do that. Perfect. All right, you guys, we have two very happy reindeer. Uh, where are our guests? Oh, that also might be a problem because we built this so far away. They're having to walk. Are you guys really not capable of making it to the animals? Do we really have to put them like benches down and whatnot? Because they have to make the hike. <laughs> they have to make the hike from, um, from the entrance. You know what? We might actually end up scooting all of this back a bit uh, uh, like I was originally going to do just because of that. But let me just go ahead and throw some uh, benches. Well, you know what? What kind of benches do I want to use? Let's just go ahead and use these ones are fine. Here, 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 here. There you go. You guys can you guys can have a break on your way. But as far as the episode goes, I think I am going to stop it here. I know it does not look like a lot, right? It definitely does not look very impressive, but we have two reindeer and the start of an entirely new zoo. So as the sun sets and rises again, please do let me know what you guys think, suggestions, did or didn't like of what we did today, how you think the zoo is starting off. Again, we are in hard mode, so we got to keep this money in mind. I know I see it down here in the corner of my eye going down, 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 and we don't want that. So I think I will kind of shift everything forward, but I'll do that off camera and you'll see it next episode. Um, and that way we get everything a little closer to the entrance. Again, scale is hard to gauge when you're uh when you're building with nothing on it so without anything else from me thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys did end up liking this video uh enjoying the content do leave a like down below it really does help me out i greatly do appreciate it and if you want to keep up with windfell zoo going forward go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and i will talk at you guys in the next episode Bye.